Today I'm going to be trying to flip this guitar sample that I found on YouTube into some sort of experimental sample drill beat. Originally it's from this track by Danny Lay. Yeah, let's just make a start. I've already found the BPM of the sample. It was originally around 74. I've also separated the guitar and the vocals. I separated these vocals using La 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 AI or something. I'm not sponsored, I'm just letting you know which website I used. I'm going to change the pitch of the sample real quick to see if there's any other pitch that I prefer to the original. I'm gonna lay this room shot with another one, I think. This is like a trap percussion loop, but it sounds actually pretty good. I think it's time to add a bass line now. I don't know if I'm gonna go with a like normal 808 or a guitar, so I might try both. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, so I'm going to try with like a guitar and a bunch of other bass lines and see how it goes, but I'm going to add a kick for now. <laughs> prefer the bass guitar actually. I'm gonna add some slides and see how it goes.
Okay, I think I prefer the bass guitar to the 808 actually. Okay, I think both of them work, but it might be that I change the bass line depending on what part of the track it is. So I think maybe for the verses, it could be the 808 and then the, the hook or whatever, it would be the, the guitar. I think a drill 808 for this track as well would be way too aggressive. So now my favorite part, vocal sample chops. We're basically just gonna want to scan the entire track for any sample chops that we can find. <laughs> vocal chops are done. I don't know what else I could add to be honest. But what I'm going to do now is clone. I'm going to take the cloned one and I'm going to pitch it down a whole octave. You'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. It's time to mix and arrange the beat and I'll show you what I'm doing with the vocal chops. All right, so to the vocal chops, I've added a quick EQ, some crystal clear, Sooth 2 for resonating frequencies, Saturn so I could saturate the sound a little bit in the mid and travel, Valhalla delay. I don't know what the technical term for it is, maybe bandpass. I'm not sure. Some reverb and then another reverb because layering reverb of a reverb seems like a really good idea. I copied this processing onto the lower vocals and it sounds like this. And this is what it sounds like the guitar sample. Alright, now with all of that done, uh, let's lay out the beat. For the verses, what I'm going to do is bounce out this guitar sample and then decrease the pitch by one octave and see how it sounds. I think the beat's done. Overall, this track is another one of those samples where I was really hesitant to sample it because I was concerned that the final product wouldn't sound as good as the original song, which you should definitely listen to if you haven't already. Honestly, maybe a trap beat would have worked better than rather than a drill beat. The guitar just sounded very reminiscent of some sort of like I song type beat or something like that. So that's what I went with. The vocal chops are way more difficult to sample than I thought they would be. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe or don't. It's up to you. Uh, hopefully the video helped in some way. Let's listen to the beat and see what I can do better for next time. <laughs> 